Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing some longer term, shorter term, we're going to be doing some technical analysis on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets because in today's video, guys, I want to show you that while Bitcoin is very stagnant right now, Bitcoin is actually at a very important point in its development. And whatever happens over the rest of the month of July and on into the beginning part of August is going to dictate a lot of what is to come on Bitcoin over the next couple of years, to be honest with you guys. Bitcoin is at a very critical point right now. It just doesn't seem that way if you're looking at the daily chart. But zooming out, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, I think you're going to get a lot of good value and perspective, which is one of the key words of technical analysis in this video. If you do enjoy today's video, as always, hit that like and subscribe button down below. It does help out the channel. Let's see if we can get to 1,300 likes. I would be very appreciative if we could. Before we go ahead and dive on into it, guys, I do just first want to mention the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. I mean, this is the academy that's helped 1,950 students learn how to trade profitably in this market. If you guys are new to cryptocurrency or even if you're experienced, it's always a good idea to be investing in your education because at the end of the day, your education is going to determine how much money you can make in these markets. If you'd like to take the next step in your education while also helping to support this channel, you can hit the link down below and don't forget to use the July 2020 coupon code at checkout for $40 off. But anyway, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What can I say? It's who I am. It's just who I am, guys. Don't judge. Look, look, it's 21st century. I can be the boss lady if I want. I don't know how that became a meme on the channel, but it did, and I'm not going to complain because it's pretty funny to me also. I just have a mug, in case any of you guys who are new here, I have a mug that says boss lady on it. And uh, apparently I'm the boss lady now. So cool. <laughs> Anyway, moving on here, guys, there's something very important that I want to talk about on Bitcoin, and it is not this chart. It is not the daily chart. Let's go up to the weekly chart, guys. I am, quite frankly, sick and absolutely tired of looking at this dang daily chart, guys. There is nothing going on down there. It is extremely boring. I think I'm going to throw myself off a building or something. I'm just absolutely tired of it. That was not funny. That really wasn't. I'm sorry. I am dang tired of it. I would much rather look at the weekly chart because there is actually something interesting going on on the weekly chart and you can see it on the screen right now. Guys, look, it's very important to look at the daily chart because that is where the majority of the traders are looking. But at the end of the day, the daily chart is only going to be applicable to the daily chart. The daily chart's not going to tell you a lot about the hourly chart, and the daily chart probably isn't going to tell you much about the weekly chart. Right now, there are price movements. Right now, there are different little things going on on the hourly chart, and there are things going on on the weekly chart. The daily chart, however... Not so much. A little stagnant. And that's okay. We've talked about why that's actually a good thing for you as practice and education time. But for the sake of making these videos, it's a little boring. So let's jump on to the weekly. Because when we look at the weekly chart, we realize something that is not quite as apparent on the daily chart. And that is just how far into this pennant pattern we are, guys. I want you to understand Bitcoin has been in this pennant for over 70 days now. That's 10 weeks. Two and a half months Bitcoin has been in this and we're getting very close to the end. These two trend lines are coming together and merging and are going to converge and cross very quickly, more than likely before the end of August, which means that we only have maybe a week or two of sideways trading left before Bitcoin is forced to break one of these moving averages. And do you really think that when Bitcoin breaks one of these moving averages that Bitcoin's going to trade sideways out of it? Mm, I don't think so. There is a ton of tension built in this market. Look at this volume crash. That's what you expect to see in a consolidation pattern like that. You expect volume to fall off a cliff, but do we expect volume to stay down here? I most certainly don't. I think the fundamentals, the technicals, everything going on in the background of cryptocurrency is looking fantastic. I mean, for example, guys, take this news article that was posted on Cointelegraph yesterday. Binance's swipe-powered crypto debit card debuts in Europe. What's the key point here? According to the announcement, the Binance card rollout will allow users to instantly convert the cryptos to fiat and spend them in over 60 million merchants across 200 regions and territories. The entire continent of Europe just took one massive leap forward in mass adoption, and this will probably be over here across the pond in the States within the next 6 to 12 months. I remember when I got into the space, one of the big things that everyone was talking about was LightPay. It was going to be a Litecoin-powered debit card. It went nowhere. I mean, seriously, guys, the number of times I've read about different crypto debit cards, Ethereum debit cards, Bitcoin debit cards, altcoin debit cards, but your mother's debit card, whatever. Every time I read about one, there's always a stipulation that says, oh, well, you have to convert it to US dollars and it's not automatic. It's not at the thing. You have to convert to US dollars and load the US dollars on the card or something stupid like that. This card is going to allow you to stick your card in and it'll automatically convert it. You load it with Bitcoin. They get their dollars or the euros or pounds or whatever. 
and then you walk. And you can go about your daily life using crypto for the first time ever, as far as I'm aware. That is huge. And by the way, one of the reasons it's huge is because this is backed by Binance. All of these other projects are backed by small startups. Binance is one of the biggest companies in this entire industry, and they are worth billions. Do you really think that this is not going to work? If they're going down this route, I trust that Binance knows what they're doing and that this is going to actually come to fruition and work. All of that stuff about that Binance debit card is off topic, but the point I'm trying to make is that the fundamentals of Bitcoin are stronger than ever. So do you really think that all of this volume is going to stay this low? Do you really think that volatility is going to stay this low? Do you really think that open interest with our longs and our shorts, I mean, look at how low they are compared to the last couple of months. Do you really think that all of that is going to stay that low? The Google Trends on Bitcoin is showing another drop in search interest for this week. Do you think that that is going to continue when Bitcoin breaks either direction for that matter, up or down? We've talked about in previous videos which direction I think Bitcoin is going to break and why I think it's going to break in that direction. I think Bitcoin is going to break to the upside. But even if I'm wrong and it does break to the downside, guys, that's going to bring more volatility. And what does all that volatility plus the strong underlying foundation for Bitcoin mean? It means that if Bitcoin pulls back here and starts pushing deep into one of the biggest VPVR zones of support I have ever seen in my entire career, that Bitcoin is almost certainly going to have a strong bounce above $6,000 somewhere, probably above $8,000. So if Bitcoin breaks out, that means volatility comes back. At the end of the day, the market will go in the direction that it is supposed to go based on the underlying fundamentals. That is something we have seen for the entire history of cryptocurrency and the same thing in the stock market. Manipulation can only last so long before the market forces that are actually important are going to shine through. Bitcoin was only able to rally 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, 20,000 dollars for so long before we finally crashed 70% in 30 days from $20,000 to $6,000 fell off a cliff and those fundamentals that we had been ignoring finally got their voices heard. And what are the fundamentals now? Back then we were overbought. Right now we're oversold in my opinion. We're still below the underlying intrinsic value and that value will be heard. It is simply the nature of the market to follow the underlying value. And guys, a lot of people debate with me all day long about whether or not Bitcoin has any actual underlying value. The fact of the matter is, enough people consider it currency now, enough people are part of the movement that it does have underlying value because things only have value if we give them value. Even something as simple as food and water, the only reason that food and water have value to humans is because we give them value because, you know, we need them to live. If all of a sudden everybody decided, okay, I don't want to eat anymore, I'm just going to starve. If everybody decided that, what do you think would happen to the food industry? You really think they'd still be in profit? They wouldn't be. They, I mean, they'd be starving, but you know, you get my point. Probably not a great industry. Let's say everybody decided they don't want smartphones instead. That would be the day, but you get my point. What I'm trying to point out to you guys is that we're very far into this consolidation pattern. We are deep into it. I mean, seriously, guys, look at this. We are so far into this consolidation pattern, and there will be a breakout in the next 14 days. It may be to the downside. From there, I think we'd bounce. It may be to the upside. From there, we might reject, but we are going to see a return to volatility. And remember one of our golden trading rules, guys. It doesn't matter which direction Bitcoin is trending. You can make money either way. Cut the emotion out of this. If you're being emotional about your trade, then that means you invested too much to begin with. Your vision will be clouded and you won't realize that you can make just as much of a profitable trade on a short when Bitcoin's going down or buying at the bottom and then riding it back up as you can if Bitcoin is rallying and selling up there. You don't look for the direction of the trend for your trade. You look for volatility period, full stop, that's it. So guys, this isn't designed to be a long video. In fact, I have to go and sign on our lease today. So... Uh, that's what I'm going to go do. So this video is going to be over pretty soon. I'm sitting down with a real estate agent signing on the dotted line on a 29 page commercial lease agreement so that we can have our office space to be moving in on September 1st. I just got our new camera in yesterday. I mean, seriously, guys, look at this thing. Oh, you know how premium that feels. Look at that Canon. Canon EOS R. Big expansions coming to the channel. We're filming on a Sony a6400, by the way, for any of you who are curious. That camera costs more than an old car. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, I do want to mention the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy, but before I do, I'm going to mention why I mentioned CT2A. This camera right here, which will be used a lot coming up pretty soon to bring you guys cinematic, extremely high-quality video, this thing right here was $3,000. All of this equipment has to be paid for. This office space has to be paid for. The employees that are coming on payroll to bring you guys more content. That's the end, go that's the end game of all this. All this whole team that we're building, it has to be paid for. So people say in the comments, Jeb, you need to stop talking about CT2A. Look, 
I would do this. I, I want to be completely heartfelt and open with you guys and be totally honest with you. Speaking as your friend, not as someone who's trying to sell you something. I would make these videos every single day for fun. And I did that for a year without making any money. But for this channel to grow into what I want it to become so that we can bring you guys content, this is a business. And if you don't like it, then you're more than welcome to click off before we talk about the Academy, but we are going to. Guys, the reason that I designed CT2A was one, so that we were able to grow this channel. Look, I don't really take any money out of the... I make just as much money as, mo as my employees do. I don't take money out of the... Everything we make stays in the business. I hope you understand that. CT2A was designed to be able to pay for all of these improvements that we've made, this office, this studio, and everything here. But the main reason it was designed was to teach you guys how to trade in cryptocurrency markets. Because I remember when I was getting into crypto, how difficult it was to learn these markets on my own. It took me a week to understand what the hell a candlestick was. We all have that story, and I want it to be easier on you than it was on me, because if I was not in the position where I had to make this work, I very well may have quit. In fact, knowing myself, I probably would have quit, and I would have walked out on one of the greatest opportunities of my entire life, and God only knows where I would be right now if I had have left the crypto space when I had started. That would be bad, and I don't even want to think about that because, wow, has it changed my life. If you want to learn how to do technical analysis, if you want to learn how to read these markets, I promise you it is going to be easier if you have someone to guide you. I used the analogy yesterday of working out with a personal trainer. It is so much easier, if you can afford it, to work out with a personal trainer, one, to hold you accountable, and two, to tell you what to do and what you need to know. It makes it so much easier. I really wish I had a statistic. If anyone has a statistic, email it to me. I really want to know how many people start training alone and quit within three months, and then how many people start training with a personal trainer and then quit within three months. People with a personal trainer, I bet so many less of them quit because they're actually on track and figuring it out and making progress. Because at the end of the day, you quit anything that you're not making progress on, especially in this day and age where everybody expects rock hard abs in 14 days and it doesn't just work that way. If you want to learn technical analysis, I am here to help you. And CT2A is a very, very valuable resource. At the time of recording this video, there are exactly 1,950 students enrolled in the academy going through these videos, learning every single day how to be better at technical analysis. It has been an invaluable skill and I read that from our students every day in our emails, in the comment section, in Twitter, on Discord, and everywhere I talk to you guys. Listen, I hope that how much I value my integrity shows in these videos, because I'll be totally honest with you guys, there is no way that I would be able to sleep with myself at night if I was selling a product that I didn't think worked. But I do think it works. I don't just think it works. I know it works, because that's what our students tell me. So if you want to take the next step to learning technical analysis, the Academy is the place to do it. Hit the link in the description down below. You hit that link, you're going to follow through on the sales page, and then you can put in the coupon code JULY2020, which is on screen somewhere, and you get $40 off at checkout. Yes, by the way, you can pay in Bitcoin. Shoot us an email at cryptojeb at gmail.com. Our official email is in the description below. And yes, we do have a full 14-day money-back refund guarantee if you decide it's just not for you. You will be one of the few people that ever use that, but you are more than welcome to because that is our policy. I stand by what I preach. If you go through 90% of the academy and you decide that it wasn't worth your time, I'll give you all your money back. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. I'm very, very excited to get some use out of this behemoth. Like, this thing... Oh, you, you know how heavy this is? This weighs like four pounds. This is... This lens alone... This lens alone is like two pounds. And this is also stupidly expensive. This piece of glass is $1,500. <laughs> Jeez, and this is so cool. The Canon EOS R has a sh the shutter comes down or a, a guard comes down to protect the to protect the sensor because you can damage that really easily. I love that on the EOS R. I am so excited to get using this. We're working with a real estate agent for the photography and videography department of the company, which is we're going to be using to train our editors so they can make better stuff here. And that camera is going to be used for that. So if you'd like to see some of that content, if you'd like to see some of the crazy awesome videos we're going to be making, one of the first ones will be out July 31st. Hit that subscribe button so you'll see those when they go live. Anyway, guys, I got to run all over town trying to find a Notary Public for this signature that I'm about to sign. I'm about to sign, sure. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching. As always... And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh!